you'll notice I'm missing a coolant right now. And that's to get an idea of what this reactor looks like without any coolant at all and see how it performs. So I'm going to start it up. So is there any chance of a disaster happening? I don't know. <laughs> but at present moment, the core is at 2000 degrees C. I'm going to stand over here. And the casing heat is only at 163 C. So the casing heat isn't really all that hot because it's not transferring any heat because there's nothing in there to transfer heat away from the core. Um, currently, this reactor is generating 370 RF per tick. Now, remember what I told you before in terms of how does that compare? Each magmatic engine we have back at base camp generates 80. The wind turbines that we have, turns out I was wrong. Again, I know, big surprise. Um, they don't generate 192 RF per tick. That would be absurd. Um, and I should have known that, but I didn't. They can output at a maximum rate of 192. How much they generate is actually based on the height you put them at. And so when they're really, really tall and high in the air, they'll generate a lot more energy. But even that appears to max out somewhere around 70 or 80 RF per tick. So currently, this reactor is generating the equivalent of, oh, four or five, call it four and a half, magmatic engines uh, without any lava whatsoever. It's using, though, ylorium as fuel to do that. But you can see, and you can see with as, as we've been sitting here talking, it has currently made about a tenth of a bucket worth of waste. And the waste that will get spit out is a, um, a material called cyanite. It's a cyanite ingot that it will spit out in that blue output slot. So whenever this gets to a full bucket worth of fuel being waste being converted, um, it will spit out one cyanide ingot and load in one more ylorium ingot because I put that in the input already. Um, in the meantime, it's generating power and it's up to, oh, just under a million RF right now that it's just going to go ahead and store for me. Now, cyanide actually is useful because it gets used in some of the higher tier reactors that you can build. So I'm going to just let this run for a little while because there's no reason not to. Um, and... I'm going to go ahead and show you the computer down in, and stuff will start getting moved up here soon enough. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you the computer to give you an idea of what that looks like. <laughs> <laughs> so over here is the actual computer from Applied Energistics. Um, it looks a lot less impressive than the big multi-block structure we were just looking at. But go ahead and click on that ME crafting terminal. All right. What you'll see now is something that says the MEC terminal, which is the ME crafting terminal. I currently have this set to sort by item name um, in descending order, so you know A, B, C, D, etc. You can see all these materials that are in here. Um, you can just click on one of those and pull it out, and it will put it in your inventory, and you can then put it back, and it will just add it to the number. This is the solution to the inventory management that I was talking about. Um, well, you got a lot of iron. Um, I... Yeah, I have a lot of iron, um, <laughs> and right next to that is 1,500 iron ore. Um, I have a lot of iron. I, I can later show why I have a lot of iron. Um, I made a digging machine, very basic digging machine, but a digging machine nonetheless, and it collected some resources for me while I was building stuff. Basically, in Applied Energistics, you have to start with an ME controller. That's the box over to the left of this crafting terminal that... Uh, has this green bar, and that sets your whole... Uh, you have to connect everything eventually back to an ME controller. It's what controls the system. Um, you can see all the components that are part of this applied energistics network in the little uh, box under the energy stored and energy used frame. Mm -hmm. um, these do use power constantly, just even keep them on. So you do have to have a pretty solid power network before you can start building one of these. Um, otherwise, you'll just run out of power and lose access to all of your materials which is no good. <laughs> um, over here is what's called an ME drive. And you can think of this just like a server rack. Um, it has slots that you can put storage drives in, and then the actual items themselves are stored on the storage drive. So for example, if you go ahead and click on this ME crafting terminal and you see all these materials in here, if I take out this 4K storage, 
all those materials are gone. Yeah. All of all of them are right here on this drive that I'm holding in my hand right now. Interesting. So it's very easy now to take this wherever I need it to because I have thousands of items just stored in a single inventory space on this drive that I can just pop into an ME terminal anywhere and I have access to them again. It's a pretty cool idea. I really like applied energistics. It's one of the more interesting, and this is just the start. Um, you can hook up an entire system that interacts with all of these machines to input and output and craft on demand. It's a very, very cool mod. It's one of my favorites um, because you can literally turn this into a just-in-time on-demand supply chain system and get anything you need at any given time. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah, I don't feel so bad about grabbing the gold for the gold block anymore. <laughs> no, um, it will not be long that I'm not going to need to worry about most materials, especially with a nuclear reactor. Um, that reactor is going to power my mining for a very, very long time. Anywho, um, let's head up here. Whoop. Oh, here we go. Here. <laughs> oh, I'll close this door so you can actually get out. Nope. Hang on. <laughs> nope. Don't kill yourself. Nope. <laughs> nope. Third time's the charm? I think I made it. There you go. <laughs> uh, the fun thing is, this was entirely unintentional. I had no idea that you were going to have so much trouble with this. I've got to pay the blood pr price for all that flying. Pay the blood toll for flying inside of my, uh, inside of my <laughs> control tower. <laughs> Incidentally, that's what I'm starting to call this now. This is the control tower, and it's, you know, it's kind of like it's kind of like a launch platform for a rocket. Okay. So, are you moving away from Mars Magica then? Um, a little bit. I'm going to actually play around with it a little bit more this session and see if I can come up with a new attack spell. Because unfortunately, my sword is starting to wear down in durability, and I'm nowhere close to being able actually to replace it yet with a new one. Um, because I haven't played around at all in Thomcraft. So I am going to mess around with Ars Magica a little bit more. I wanted to, I'll be honest with you, originally I was going to focus on it, but um, this castle kind of forced my hand. <laughs> I needed to get something put in place very quickly so that he didn't think he could just trounce all over my land. Um, so it led to a little bit of a, a little bit of a cold war that I think is brewing between the two of us. And I just want to make sure that I'm prepared and, you know, not going to lose my ass or my land. I can't do magic if I have no land, John. Well, you know what they say. Know your enemy. They do say that. I want to pay him a visit. Oi! Oi! What are you doing with my apple trees? I'm taking some apples. They're on my land. My trees? I don't care. Well, hang on a second. Whoa. Okay, he has a gate. Oh. You know, when I... When I said that your uh, statue wasn't very accurate, I expected you to change the statue. What are you talking about? I got a cookie. That's what I was telling you. I cannot believe that. He wasn't completely full of shit. That wasn't. <laughs> I needed a cookie. I got a cookie. Now I'm fine. Yeah, the statue still makes the sky go gray, though. <laughs> well, that's just because... Anyway, peace. I, I have something for you guys. Here. What the? Here. What the hell is that? Bottoms up. <laughs> Apple cider. So good. This is unnamed. <laughs> I'm not drinking. It's apple no. cider. I made it. I made it. I'm not for drinking you. something unnamed. Okay, you can have some sake. Oh, that has a name to it. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Uh, later. Fe feeling a bit tipsy. Look, look, it makes you jump so high. Boing. Or not. Uh, I can already <laughs> jump high. I have to jump uh, back. Uh, so oh, yeah. I, I noticed. I also built these fancy boots. Oh, yeah, got see them. high heel boots. They're not high heel boots. <laughs> <laughs> they let me fall without taking damage and step up one block. So what you're saying is they let you... Watch it. Yeah, I can do that too. So what you're saying yeah, is that mine you, aren't magical. You're saying they let you walk special. These boots were made for walking. So yeah, high heel boots, okay. Oh man. 
Hey, hey, you didn't say yes if you could go down. <laughs> I'm curious. What are you doing? You're looking at my stuff. Hey, big thing here. What's this? I do. Uh, you got some machinery down here too. You, I do have some machinery. Unlike some other people, I have upgraded my machines to factories. Yeah, I see that. So, this is the same line as what is over there in the uh, robot, but uh, beside, after it goes through the purification chamber, I can work with multiple stacks at once. Uh, it's just another tier of the system here that can go up to another two so that you can eventually get seven stacks at once. I also have a very basic computer system that's probably not as organized as yours, to be honest, or as far, because I don't have the crafting chamber yet. Oh my god, now this is hideous. You're storing hoes and shovels in this computer. Hoes gotta go somewhere. <laughs> and then, there's nothing down here yet. That's where I'm gonna put my reactor. Ah, uh, huh. Just interesting. Need to keep You're them. leaking. I, it, yeah, I am leaking. You probably should work uh, on that. I wouldn't I, put a yeah. reactor down here. Your plates That's are gonna... Close, it goes down further. Well, yeah, but your plates are gonna rust. Maybe. Why do you have a blackout curtain here? Because it looks cool. <laughs> uh, incidentally, John probably has never seen a blackout curtain. Uh, you yeah, use wool, and this actually stops all light from going beyond that point, John. So you can actually use this to solicit to wall off, quote unquote, <laughs> soft wall off. Um, Were you going yeah. to say solicit favors? No. Uh, you can soft wall off um, unlighted areas to spawn mobs. So, for example, what he's showing you here, you can see that it's actually taking the light away from this area. Um, light cannot penetrate see, a blackout curtain. If you look at the floor, there's a difference. I might use those for my bleeding chamber. Gross. That sounds wrong. It's disgusting. Oh, okay. The zombies don't like the light. They stay in their yeah. little box. Yeah, like I said, I haven't finished building the chamber or the reactor yet. So I gotcha. Need more coal to make more graphite bars. Uh, see, John, I told you. What did I say? First episode. Coal is always useful. <laughs> coal is always useful. Well, you didn't look at my home brewing stand. I saw it. I didn't look at it closely. Well, I mean, you know. Right here. It's where I make all the. It's where I make all the magic happen. It doesn't look Not very sanitary. Oh, a fruit press. I, I wash it. I wash it. Yeah. So I can put blueberries in. No, the blueberries don't work. The only two things that work in the fruit press, sadly, are apples and grapes, and I haven't found any grapes yet. Oh. That's awful limited. Eh, gro growth craft uh, is, isn't uh, intertwined with a lot of the other mobs. That so. doesn't surprise me. Growth craft and Natura really need to get well, get along well together, and they just don't. They don't, and now it's raining. Damn it, again. Yeah. God, I hate when it rains. Well, you know what they say, when it rains, it pours. How does that have any bearing to do on anything? It has everything to do with anything. Get with the program, jeez. Oops, that's not an air sigil. <laughs> you just ran off a cliff. <laughs> it's a good thing you're not over the void. Jeez. I think it's time to make that blood orb. <laughs>